the forage it tramples uh, really differently. We have a lot of Kentucky bluegrass on our place. Um, it trampled different than the smooth brome and the quack grass. So whenever we were moving, we had to pay attention to what species we were grazing on. Also, we learned that wet forage versus dry forage trampled differently. And then also, even in the morning, if there was a really heavy dew versus a drier afternoon, our grass plants just, the cattle wouldn't trample them the same. And then, like I said, the changes in topography, it was, you know, you go up on a hill and then you're down in a low area and just the species um, really affected how the forage trampled. So this was taken when the cows were, right before the, those cows were moving into the cell. And this is what it looked like before the cattle came in there. This is just some quack grass. And after the cattle were in there, you can see that forage is just trampled to the ground. It's feeding the soil biology. It's retaining moisture. And this is what we were going for because we had a lot of bare ground on our pasture. Just a zoomed out version of what it looked like after the cattle got out of there. This is a trample on a thin hillside. It's kind of difficult to see, but we had to move fairly quick across these areas because there's not a lot of forage there for the cattle. And we just wanted to get even manure and urine distribution on these areas. And then you go down the hill, and here you'd be in uh, Kentucky bluegrass flat. And the Kentucky bluegrass was just really springy, and it was hard to get it trampled into the ground. Um, this was, I believe, in like June. And this was later in the year when it had dried out some. And here you can see the cattle trampled it differently. Uh, you can see that the Kentucky bluegrass act, you know, actually broke down, turned brown, and was in contact with the soil.